it is finally time for me to suck it up and start the project something I've been putting off for a long time and that is reupholstering the seats in the dinette in the RV I have some fabric I found this and I was thinking that that might be a good color I don't want to buy fabric it's very expensive and I have a ton just here <laughs> so I'm gonna do some kind of like experiments and we're gonna run it by Casey see if he thinks it's good and if he likes it then we're gonna make it happen some things by you okay you ready oh it's so hard to commit to color because we haven't put any color in here so that you can do literally anything it's quite a commitment but also it's not I can sew a million of it's, these we don't it matches the drapes go for it if you've got enough okay cool I'm glad you're on board I need to take all these cushions do you need them no get them out of my sight <laughs> <laughs> okay so before I do anything with the fabric that I have I need to take the cushion covers off I'm going to try to repurpose the existing zippers because zippers this long are hard to find and expensive if you do and so let's take these off so I've got the cushion off of one of the larger seats and I have my seam ripper I'm just gonna take apart all the seams and um, break it up into all the original pieces and then we'll cut out our fabric using that as a pattern Okay, so I've broken this all up into its individual pieces. We've got a back piece, the cushion top, two sides, and a panel for the zipper to attach. And then of course the zipper, there's two little tabs for the ends of the zipper, and that is it. So now we get to lay these on top of our fabric and cut around them with a little bit of extra space for the seam allowance and sew it back together the way it was and hope that it fits on the cushion well and looks good and works. Okay, so I was about to do this piece, but it's got a curve to it and it's a little bit more, I wanna be kind of more precise uh, since it's not just a straight rectangle. So I'm gonna iron the seam flat before I cut around it just so that I'm not, um, messing up the seam allowance because it's already flat here but it's curved under here um, so that little bit could really mess up the shape so I'm gonna get my iron hot and flatten these guys out before I cut around them now I have to figure out what order to sew it together in it looks like the front panel wraps around the top of the cushion and meets the back panel here in the back so I think this is gonna be my first um, so those curved pieces are the sides. Okay, and now I just want to drape what I have kind of over this cushion to see how I'm doing. It's definitely looser than the original, but that looks good to me. Okay, we're going to sew the other curved edge into the other side. And now I'm going to sew the zipper in. Now, if you are going to sew a zipper, you want a regular sewing machine and you're gonna want a zipper foot attachment for the sewing machine. This just goes um, right here underneath where the needle is. So I'm gonna change mine out now. Okay, so I'm about to work on reupholstering this which is the like up part that you lean back against. I've got my fabric pieces cut and I have this still on the cushion so I can reference the way it's put together. It's a little tricky and the top one and the bottom one are designed a little bit differently so it's not like super intuitive from piece to piece. Uh, but yeah, so I'm gonna leave it intact until I get to the part where I need the zipper and then I'll seam rip the zipper out and sew it into the new one and we'll have a new cushion. So looking at this, um, it's kind of confusing to figure out where to start, um, but this corner has, there it is, this corner has um, all three of my pattern pieces touching, so 
the front fabric, the back fabric, and the side all meet right here. So this is gonna be a good kind of like starting point so that I can get things lined up correctly. If I tried to like line up this corner where this just like folds over, that would get things really wonky and off, just knowing myself. Um, so what I'm gonna do first is sew the front piece and the back piece together along this seam on my new, with my new fabric and then I'll be able to line up this little side panel. So first off is this seam. Look at you and your sewing palettes with your mushrooms all over the place. It's like the Magic Kingdom from Mario. Okay, so now that we've got that seam put together, we're gonna add in the little side panel, um, and that meets at the corner, remember? So um, we're just gonna line up the corner of it with that, and I am gonna use some pins here. My seam ripper, um, you really need one of these. This is an essential tool for this task. Any little stitches around the zipper till I can really get to it and get it out. Now, obviously I did this already on the first ones when I was disassembling the whole thing, but on this one I just need to salvage my zipper. You can buy new zippers, you buy them by length. They tend to be like more expensive the longer they are and, and also like the more obscure the size, the harder they are to track down. So we're just trying to be resourceful here. All right, we got it out. So free zipper. And um, we can take this thing off and I've already got the other one cut out as a pattern. So this disgusting thing can just go um, in the trash. And the cushion we're keeping um, to put the new cover on, obviously. All right, let's talk about zippers. troubleshooting thing you can do if if for some reason your zipper is getting um, I mean your fabric is getting caught up in the teeth you can top stitch this down maybe I'll show you on the on the green side take this and sew you know down the edge and that'll keep your fabric out of the way I'm not having that issue with this particular fabric and the distance from the teeth that I happened to get it sewn down on so I'm gonna unzip this all the way and we're gonna put it on the cushion, which way does this go? Feels like a good tight fit. There you go, pretty simple. I mean, obviously like every cushion is gonna have its own way it's designed or whatever, but um, hopefully that helps you figure yours out. I've got 15 minutes till lunch, so I think I'm gonna try to get the other one knocked out and I'll show you when I'm done. All right, so I had sort of a fabric stash decluttering mishap 
and I accidentally got rid of all of my extra of this fabric before I had cut all the pieces because I thought I had cut all the pieces. So I had to improvise and include a different colored fabric side um, on these, this one, <laughs> but um, it matches, it's gonna look fine. We're gonna go stick it all in the RV and see what it looks like and then one day, one day we'll get to that fabric and do this project all over again. Um, so we do want to recover this part. Um, I think I'm just going to cut fabric and like staple it around Yay. these. Look this. Yeah, it looks nice, doesn't it? Because uh, now that green is really <laughs> dark, I guess. Mommy, Not cute. Okay. Again, the driver's seat. For just a second, and then we're going to head inside. It's cold. Mm. Oh, I turned on the light. Oh, I meant to take a picture. So that's pretty much it. Let me know if you have any questions about how that all went together or if I can help you like troubleshoot yours. Um, I know a lot of people were asking for this video and probably had hoped it would be more of a how to. <laughs> um, but I just feel like every situation is gonna be kind of unique and everyone's gonna have different tools at their disposal. So um, yeah, if you, if you are curious about anything I did here, just let me know and I can answer your questions. I'm planning on doing a second round of this with that other fabric using Velcro instead of zippers. So let me know if you would like me to film that process um, and that might be helpful. And if you have like lots of questions, I can try to answer them in that next video too. So yeah, I don't know when I'll be getting around to that, but um, one day. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think it's like made a huge visual impact. It's the first thing you kind of see when you come in the door and that fabric was just not good. If you haven't already, go ahead and like and subscribe and leave us a comment. Um, we love answering your questions and hearing what kind of travel adventures you are up to. And if you haven't seen Casey's last two videos, he just did a solar install on the RV and he added a battery monitor. And there's two videos on each of those. Um, we're just doing a bunch of little upgrades right now while we're in between travel. So the RV is getting pimped out.